Purse of seventeen thousand five hundred dollars. Remember, no show wagering at the upcoming four. The race win plays exact uh, trifecta early pick three wagering. Scratch the one, gals lucky nooner sick as indicated in your program. Here's the 1A, 5 carat diamond from post position 5, owned by William Rhodes of Ashland, Ohio, trained by Roy Brown with Adam Rucker. With the 2, Anastasia Barron, owned by Joseph Leonard Urban of Mercer, Pennsylvania, trained by Jeff Conger. Jeff Conger drives. The 3, give him the axe, still in the paddock area for a shoe replacement, owned by Charlie Geiler, Wingfield, Janikis, and McCoy. They're all the Buckeye State, trained to different by Sandy Beatty. The four is Glory Bound, owned by Houghton, Shapiro, and Grodin. They're all of Ohio, trained by D. Houghton with Jeff Fount. In the five, Striking Ace, owned by the Koran Stables in Corbin of Macedonia, Ohio, trained by Kent Sherman, Greg Grismore, and the Sulky. That's the field for the fourth race. Scratch the one. Gals, Lucky Nooner, the gate swings into the back stretch, and there they go. Field in motion. Being sent on their way. They're all fan trotting in the final. The Heart of Ohio trot and driving out for the lead. There goes Glory Bound right alongside that. A striking ace looking to duck and tuck there for the garden spot trip. Away in third. That is five carat diamond. Fourth on the inside. That is give them the axe off stride. Racing in fifth there. That is Anastasia Barron. And off stride went the 1A five carat diamond as they trot around the first turn and over to the opening quarter. Being led up top by Glory Bound and Fout through the initial quarter here. 20 28 seconds flat on by the stands for the first time and heading on down to the half and glory bound and foul to the point here dictating the fractions by two into the inside striking aces right there in that garden spot racing in second along the inside give them the axis close the gap trotting in third fourth the distance back here to five carat diamond furthermore back to Anastasia Barron as they trot around the clubhouse turn in front of the paddock and on over to the half up top glory bound to the lead striking ace to the inside trots in two give them the axis is trotting in third of their halfway home in 58 and four fifth. Fourth on the inside, five carat diamond and a ways back. Fifth and trailing Anastasia Barron. Off the turn of their long journey down the backside towards three quarters begins now. Up top leading the way, glory bound with less than three eighths of a mile to travel. Striking ace to the inside is still right there trotting in two and is being angled off the pylon. It's gonna take a shot at the leader here. And along the inside, give him the axis trotting in third. Fourth is five carat diamond. Fifth and trailing Anastasia Barron. Three quarters and 127 and four fifths. They'll trot the final turn and head for home and glory pound as rebuff striking ace, but striking ace is right back out here as they turn to the top of heartbreak lane. Less than an eighth of a mile to go and down the stretch they come with the heart of Ohio trot on top. Glory bound with a lead here. Striking ace is trying to come at him and come on, but as they roll within the final 16th, glory bound is home a winner here. Striking ace drifting out a bit to finish second, finishing third of the three. Give him the X the town with a mile 157 and one glory bound gate to wire in 2004 a six-year-old brown getting by queen's guard out of a dream of glory mare Embernath, owned by Houghton, Shapiro, and Grodin. They're all of the Buckeye State, trained by D. Houghton. Nicely handled here this afternoon by winning driver Jeff Fout. The four glory bound, 157 and one. Gate to wire, returning 380, 240. Second, the five striking ace, returning 240. The four, five exact of $5.20. Four, five, three try is worth $53.40.